Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Hot Wheels Extreme Racing. We're here with Bedlam now, which is cool. Uh, hush. I'll, I'll do that. And Silla has had so much screen time in this game, and I don't know why, what for. They still haven't really contributed much to anything. We also have never seen Margaret, whatever her name is here. Except for when we played as her, it's weird. We see fo we see so few cars actually here. When we're not playing as them, it's really weird. There we go. That's the timing. That's where the gem is here. Huh. Some of the gems are just in plain sight. When you're going backwards, it's just convenient. So, with Bedlam driving a heavier car, I guess Bedlam would. At least I have a car that's a bit better suited for... Shoot. Oh man. He heavy jet is awkward to control. I guess, I guess Bedlam's car would be a bit... Or Bedlam's car and driving style would be a bit more well suited for... Combat. You know Saw them have the chance for combat though. I will actually play as Bedlam later, I suppose. And, uh, for a medal as well. Instead of just cups. So we can actually see how they fare in fighting. Instead of just trying to race ahead of everyone. But they are competent racers, regardless, evidently. And as much weight as they have to throw around, which definitely affects how they handle. Oh, come on. Could we please? <laughs> yeah, things like that happen from time to time. Okay, so you cannot. Oh, wait, I think it hurt the. Why did I not get hurt? Did I... Was I using some power up without realizing it just then? Yes, I don't know. I'd be surprised if the barrel is why I didn't get hurt there. So far, we're not actually needing weapons. Thanks, Pam. Okay. I had... I didn't really have any meaningful influence over the car just then. Right. Oh, so I was thinking, though. So does Ben have any news about what the rest of the Golden Tetra is up to, since they're evidently not here? I'm curious about. What would the Golden Tetra be up to, actually, with what's going on here? Why would the Golden Tetra not be here helping us find the others? Hmm. In particular, something that's actually important enough that they're not here. And so they just leave us on the less effective members of the Golden Tetrad to help us in the pursuit and pursuit of and combat with some others that are some runaway rogues for whatever reason. We will I assure you find out why they're doing this as well. They being Maghog and others and I guess Race Cam we've seen so far. Not much going on in the standings. But when that'll be, I can't quite tell you, to be perfectly honest. I'll find out later. So I suppose Bedlam might be telling us, not wanting to give away too much, he might tell us vaguely that the rest of the Golden Tetrad, or at least the members we aren't seeing here, which I guess would be the rest of the Golden Tetrad, potentially some other big game individuals, such as maybe even Alex. Are somewhere else again. Yeah, Jumping around storms a lot faster. Right, this place is still gonna be tough close quarter stuff. Good job, right through everything. Oh dear. Camera's being a little awkward. You have some business to address with somebody else. Like 
that might be all there is to be said about that for the time being. Darn it. It's super hard to not hit those. Oh, and then and I pick up another one. Really, game? This game can be so unkind. I still managed to end up in first regardless, somehow. Somehow that doesn't hurt me, I don't know why. I don't really get that, I didn't get that turbo that I wanted. So I get that. I'm not sure if there's real reason to go one way or the other here. So basically I think the way those flames work is... They seem to have basically infinite height in their hitbox, so if the flame is above or below you, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna hit it. Airtime. Oh, even here I've still managed to break away, it seems like. Usually things are a bit more close quarters here. Let's try not to pick that up, but thank you. So I wonder if it'll be easier to pick up any... I forgot that was there. Any health pickups here? Because one of the big nuisances here was always that I could never find any health pickups anywhere. Okay, that actually managed to hit me. It. And that was all that speed. It's not very useful when I lose it immediately. So I think I'm not hurting myself with these. There's one. Thank you. How often that you see those in this? Lots of speed and no speed. But yes, I guess that's all we're going to know about everybody that isn't present here. Not necessarily everybody, but at least some major players. Um, the rest of the clone tetrad, and I guess Alex, potentially, too. What's going on here now is not all that's going on. But I'm sure to hear from everyone that's absent, what went on later. But for now, Bedlam, good job. What do we get as our prize today? you and everything. I, of course it'll have, I have not actually. Oh, huh. Same results in every single race again. Nice. Not very eventful there. But, um... What was I going to say? T. I wonder if we can manage to guess what the code is. Is it XG3? Probably not. I think there are too many letters for that. It looks like it's too long for extreme, too, which I was kind of curious about. Hmm. Unless it has an exclamation mark. Oh. I'm tempted to enter this. I swear, if I get this right, though, it's gonna be ridiculous. Does that do anything? I started the numbers. Yeah, so I'm guessing that was wrong. Uh, I couldn't tell because they didn't seem to give me any indication as if I was wrong or right. The best times. Ah, uh, no, I don't have any. That's unfortunate. It would be nice if I was recording them when I was in the championship. We should save the game, though. Do that every now and then. It's easy to forget to do so in games like this when they don't have autosave. And we're going to Cup 6. We'll start in that. It's weird to me how Bedlam, or I guess, certainly speaking, the car itself, Toe Jam, in this game, in the pictures it's red, I think, but when we actually play as it, or rather, 
the pictures we see for the courses show a red toe jam, but the one we play as is actually gray. Regardless. In the cup. We have time for one more race. It's more of a gray and kind of yellow. Yes, the yellow is perfectly fitting. I guess we lost on that golden sheen. In a dirty place like this. Play as for racing this time though. We could be silhouette again, we haven't been silhouette in a long time. And they'd be appropriate for race nah, racing. Although we probably won't play as Dragon Ground Storm again after this. We can do it do that again now. Let's go with that. Yeah, see? Here, Toy Jam is red. It's weird. Anyways. Race game's actually here this time too. Cool. They were last time we played as Drifting Ground Storm too, I think, but regardless. So it's quite exciting. Unlocking bits and pieces of this code. What can only wonder where it is. Yes! Speed! Good speed. Oh wow, actually that's a lot of speed. Oh wow, that was actually a secret. There isn't even more speed we have than I realized. Shifting Ryan Storm knows the secret to even more speed than I knew was possible. Very speed oriented guy. It's like the new, uh. Oh, what did they go by? Side Draft? Is that what it was? Side, yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, I haven't seen Side Draft in an extremely long time. I mean, they were initially just. Contender and oops, ow. And Sunshine Challenge. And then they happened to also incidentally be in World Race. They came back from World Race, I guess, to compete as, there as well. I don't think you've seen them anywhere else. This is awkward. Oh, there's that gem. Try to pick that up then. I do like trying to pick up the gems after Crown Storm just to have a little extra something to do. Something to give him points, because that's something that he would still like to do. Even if he can't do much in the way of fighting to get the bulk of the points that we'll get theoretically get in practice. Alright. Look at the zoom this car has, it's amazing. Putting that spoiler good use. Of course, we're actually still getting points they've left regardless, so maybe that spoiler isn't proving very useful. So that's serving its purpose. Awkward. There we go. Get off on the right here. Still, I actually managed to catch up somehow. Oops. I did not manage to get that health I wanted to get. It's fine, because we can zoom ahead. And just imagine that, that from Silhouette's point of view, you see Jigger Man Storm literally flying ahead of you in a car. Darn it. Come on. I managed to. I never hit the ground until. Actually, I never hit the ground, because I was still in, into play mode after that. That's how we do it. As long as we don't get hit by that gun. They tried to stop us. No! How are you faster? Really? Ugh. How'd they catch up to us after that? Man, that's annoying. It's the first time I've lost a race in a long time. Aside from that, Darn, I actually, I should have had so much at the end there. How'd they do that? What kind of speed did they get? Ugh. Regardless, that'll be it for this episode. Let's play Hobby Extreme Racing. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we, I suppose we would finish this tournament. And then see what it is that we unlock it next. Be it a new car, another gear, or yet another part of this puzzle, this code. I'm using the XG3 actually would fit if we spelled out three in letters. It was a good guess. Anyways, but we'll... I have no idea what that unlocks, so we'll find out later what that's actually for. I have no idea what it could be for. Unless it's something weird like... 
you get all five gears, and then you get all the letters. And the only thing that's still not unlocked is the last car, and then the code just unlocks the car. It could be something stupid like that, but I'd hope not. We'll find out. But yeah, we do have seven medals and cups left to get, but we have eight things here, so it's a little hard to be sure. It might be that the last thing you unlock, whatever it is, the last gear or the last car, or the last part of the code, you unlock from getting all of these things. All 18, I think it is. Yeah, all 18 medals and cups. We'll see. Regardless, that'll be it for this episode. It's Big Hobby Wheels Extreme Racing. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.